Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Super Mario World 2. We're in the Poems game. Enter the raccoon. We're gonna don ourselves a raccoon suit and we're gonna do raccoon -y things. Look at that. It forces you to have a double tail. I'm gonna grow wise and multiply it by four. Sup? Well, it's all about using the raccoon tail. It's quite a change in pace. I mean, I feel like we've been changing pace quite a lot. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, this is gonna be a nightmare. So, you can't hold the jump button to glide. You have to mash it. So, like, here's a little thing I've never really mentioned. I am not comfortable by mashing. Like, I just don't like how it feels. I'm just basically mashing both here and hoping for the best. <laughs> Alright, here's a tiny brown tooth I can live at. Well, I, I didn't get the first easy to get ahead, so... Okay. Yeah! See, look at that! You can do that and destroy all the bricks all across the world. Alright, so same as ever, except this time... Uh, munchers are added to the ingredient list. But it's okay. Look at that! I can do that here. Alright, so... Turns out you can just smash both and you're... That's not lamb. Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy. Yep, 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 yep. You need to jump and you need to be jumping and spinning. It's a little bit of a nightmare. There could be more nightmarish. But no. <laughs> this isn't exactly my wheelhouse. No. No, you I... Tom, man. Well... No, you- why did it, Here, which is like... I wonder, if I were to spin jump in there... I... Uh, you still need to hold Y, too? So you need to hold Y, but tap jump. That's even more uncomfortable. Uh, sweet, great, sweet, sweet, great. I- I don't un- how? How do you do this? I'm missing something, but like I just don't know what. Okay, so running start, mashing the spin jump button to work there. So that's what I did. Uh, this is just nothing feels great, man. Oh wow, I skipped ahead. There we go. There's a P switch up there. I probably want for one reason or another. I can't go up there directly, though. Okay, there's a passage. So I can do this. Okay, so there's a passage here. Also, there's no holes at all. Alright, good to know. Alright, so that's what you need to get the P-switch to get down there to hit that thing. Is that so? Oh, alright, invisible wall. Always nice to see. I mean, I guess that was the coin was there for. There you go, you can even do that here. Ah. Uh. Right, that's for a vine. Yeah, that's not optional. That's the path you must take. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Yeah, coins. Just have all the buttons. That's how I decide to do things. I can go here and get a single head embedded in the wall. Destroy all these bricks. That's not all. The carnival lives on. Phew! Oh, wait a second. There might be something underneath. 
I've done this kind of thing before. Yeah! Last golden head! Uh, here we go! Go to the bathroom and lock yourself in for three days! Subside on soap! Uh, yeah, alright. It started off a little bit rough for me, but once I got used to it... Hey, there's a statue being built there. Maybe of Mario? But yeah, once I got acclimated, things went okay. It's tripping acid now. <laughs> Alright, well, we got a moving background. We got acid down here. That's probably where the level name comes from. And we're taking a trip. Well, I mean, we're walking. Is walking taking a trip? I always assume that trip taking in in implied some form of vehicle. Or, you know, there's the other kind of trip, which the name actually alludes to. There's all these loose bricks everywhere. Pretty wild. Get out of here. Oh, there's a little solid thing underneath that head, but it's just not worth it, man. Look at that ghost hiding behind this brick construct. He's pretty sneaky. He's gonna pretend to be a bee. Hey, it's the test screen. Totally as I remember it. Get on down in acid splash down. Hey, midpoint. He's exists in this game sometimes. Nah, the game's pretty generous with those. Usually, more often than not, I should say. This is cool though, this is like, it's a level. I'm playing Mario today. Wild and wacky, all right? Look at those ghosts making circles like they were a ghost. Who ever heard of a circle of ghosts? They always hang out in like squares and freeform line drawn. Uh-oh, here's the Penguin Lord. He's back! Prof Whoa, jeez, yeah, all on purpose. All these sweet moves I have practiced a long time ago. Oh, okay. I was hoping- Oh, shoot! Well, um... Yeah, teleporting head got me. Weird. Oh, man. Every level has just like that one thing, has like that one moment that makes me go like, oh... <laughs> This is just the reality of this game at this point. Expect it. <laughs> Alright, well, hey, I'm gonna do this without a tail now. Is that gonna be, like, super meaningful? Probably not. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Depending, uh, ye ol' penguin crusade. Cause here, this is just a matter of holding jump while you fall, like, anyone can do that. Even the king of nutmeg. He doesn't show up in video games most, most of the time. Alright, so that, is, that just barely touches me. Alright, fishing fish guy, you have a job, and that's to stop me. And I have a job, and it's to make it to the end of this level. We are in conflict of interest here. I realize this. Like, but like, places like this, ugh, oh, it's so scary. Well, I'm not big anymore, so it's a good thing I'm not really collecting these. Alright. You keep on keeping on, friendly Don. Ooh, I got a green star. I'm gonna get it before Luigi. Yeah, that's right. Bonus. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got a moon. There was a moon atop the sky. You couldn't see it, but it was real dry. That's all you need to remember about corn, my friend. Grows in dirt and screams hello as it blossoms. I want to keep playing. Oh, okay. So there's going to be eight level. Not too surprising. Oh, I got a system save though. Is that a sign? Maybe not. Flooded vault. <laughs> Why do you play? Oh, it's this music. Okay, so we're swimming. The vault comes from that we are in an age of technology on. What with that light there and that buzzsaw and that fish. Fish is the most high-tech device created by water. I know that. I consulted a firm. Alright, so I'm just gonna weave in and now don't mind me. Look at that fish, it's hydrated. Good for it. Oh, and that fire is a blazing. Isn't that weird? A little bit, not gonna lie. Grinder's got a big nose that won't fly. If you want this job, you're gonna shrink it, son. I don't know how, maybe use a needle and thumb. That's just kind of mean-spirited there, though. Like, 
physical appearance shouldn't preclude you from getting a job. Weird hot take here, I'm aware, but hey. You know, someone has to stake a stand somewhere. First, swimming. Also a hot take. But I think it's just because people don't take the time to say it out loud. Some things you don't have to say, everyone understand. I swim is heavy, and I have two hands. Yeah, people just don't understand that part. It's how I can play video games. Oh, look at that. There is that, and oh, that pipe swear I'm gonna be summoned forth if I am to meet my end in this flooded fort. Oh, look at that. It's the pipe and swamp show. Go up the pipe and go down low. You can't go up the pipe. I tried. I went underneath it and I hold up and jump. Smile tenuously. Words are hard. All right, check that out, this sweet move. Yeah, that's right. I bet you don't even understand what that move was. It is nameless and forbidden to just kind of go through the level and do the thing right. Yeah, it's... See, if you give it a name, then it becomes kind of concrete what it can do. But as long as you keep your special techniques nameless, then they can pretty much do whatever you want at any time because, like, there's no name for you to, you know, kind of get stuck on, you know? And y your opponent can complain and say, What? But last day, you know, your special move summoned for the power of forks. Why does it let you breathe fire now? You say, Hey, 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 man. It's hidden technique number 56. You don't know the actual rules. You don't know what's actually going on. That's the goal, by the way. I'm gonna get right up there. Yeah, 29! Now that's something to get excited. Well, so many flashing light, and the fish have stopped in time to admire all said flashing light. Man, so hey, way to. Whoa, I just grew a cheek! Here I got rewarded for one more leveling by getting to play a very exciting, really fun underwater adventure. There is no such thing as a universal order.